Paying attention to what's in that chocolate chip muffin or wondering what a piece of pizza might have been sitting next to isn't something most students think about. For some, these factors could mean life or death. Students with food allergies often need to consider their surroundings and options in order to keep themselves safe at school. My name is Claire Valenti, reporting from Downers Grove with the Blueprint News Network. While a lot of students opt to buy lunch at school, there are some who can't make that choice due to the lack of allergen-safe options. Senior Bella Chilada has had her eating habits and day-to-day -day routines in practice since her freshman year. Um, well, first of all, I have to bring all of my food to school. Um, even though the cafeteria has a lot of new options and a lot of like a variety of options, I cannot eat anything that the school offers. Um, so every morning I have to make sure that I pack all my snacks that I think I'm gonna need and all of my food. I always have extra food in my car just in case I have to run out and get some. Chilada also faces concerns in school about her safety regarding the food allergies she has. I have a really hard time trusting what um, food is in, like, or what ingredients are in the food that's, like, provided. Um, so obviously I don't eat anything that the school gives because you never really know what's in it. Um, but I'm always just, like, afraid that, like, I won't bring, like, enough food. Although allergic reactions are triggered most of the time through consumption of said allergen, in some cases reactions can happen through cross-contamination or even being in close contact to a food you're allergic to. Senior Deanna Masakian found out she was allergic to cinnamon when she was in kindergarten and does everything she can to avoid it in her daily life. I get scared a lot because I see kids eating cinnamon grapes and I'm afraid that like they might like contaminate because it's really serious. So they might contaminate like somewhere that I am or they ate like two minutes before class and they were breathing on me. So I get sometimes like uncomfortable. I make sure that I have an EpiPen in my backpack in case of any emergencies and with people that I'm close to, I usually just warn them. The impact that food allergies have on students could make them feel afraid to eat at school or go near people based on what they're eating. Certified nurse Gloria Barrera aims to ease students' minds about their allergies within the school. As school nurses, we really are the experts in planning and preparing for students with life-threatening allergies. Here at DGS, we have 272 students with allergies and 72 of those with a life-threatening food allergy that requires an EpiPen for uh, anaphylaxis. Um, a severe food allergy really does impact a person's daily life by um, them just having to be extra cautious and uh, kind of always on guard. Food allergies influence the way students navigate their daily lives, no matter how severe. For this reason, staff at schools are trained to recognize severe allergy symptoms to prevent potentially harmful events from occurring. I'm Claire Valenti, reporting in Downers Grove with the Blueprint News Network.